Hi, it's Brian Newman with the Spotlight of Business Owner Show. And today we're thrilled to have Dana Keaton. She's with Ultra Energy. Hi, Dana. How are you? Good morning, Brian. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Yeah, sure. Sure. God, I'm thrilled to have you on here today. Yeah, so oh, uh, yeah, you've got a very unique and very popular business that you uh, run. Before we get into it, can you tell us a little bit about your background and then how you ended up in solar? Sure. Um, my background primarily has pretty much always been in some type of sales until, oh gosh, uh, a while ago, and, and we worked for the same kind of company. You worked for SCI, I know, out in Houston. I worked for yeah. SCI here in Phoenix. Um, I actually was a funeral director, and I managed a few properties for them and did that for about eight years. Uh, Phoenix Memorial, Sun City, a couple properties here. And my cousin moved here from Indiana to do solar. And he oh, said, Dana, wow. why aren't you in the solar industry? And I said, I don't know anything about it. And so I went to a meeting at Vivint, actually, solar company, oh. and went out with a few of the guys and saw what they did. And I just fell in love. And, and my, my passion for this industry is, you know what? I know our environment needs help. And, and it's probably not going to make a difference in my lifetime. Maybe not my daughter's. Because today is her birthday, and she's oh, oh happy birthday! To say that. Yeah, <laughs> but I really think it will make a difference in my my grandchildren's life, and and great grandchildren that I may or may not ever meet. So it does make mm -hmm. a difference, and I just I love helping people, meeting people, giving back, and, and sharing really. Oh, that's cool. So, how long have you actually been in the business of solar? A little over seven years, and that's funny oh. you should ask because that's about how long we've known each other. Because when I, I wanted know. to transition out of the funeral industry into the solar industry, it's a totally different clientele. And so I needed a new network group. And that's where I met you at the Deer Valley Airport many, many moons ago, Brian. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I remember. No, and we've been good friends ever since. I know, uh, yep. yeah, it's been quite a while. No, and I love what you do. I'm telling you, I mean, you. you know, and you're able to save people money. Yeah, I've got like some questions. You're with Ultra Energy. Um, before we even get into it, what's the best way people can uh, reach out to you? Is it through a phone number, a website, or a text? Well, the very best way would be my phone, and it's the number on the screen, 623-341-4152. I answer my phone all the time. I don't look and say, ooh, this might be a spam caller. I always uh -huh. answer because you never know who's going to call. And I'll tell you what, I like I said, I've been doing this so long, and I think that that's so important in this industry because I am now a project manager. So I do more than just um, design, develop, um, help facilitate the start of your project. I'm from start to finish. So oftentimes a solar project can be anywhere from three to five months. Oh. And, and for years later, I had a call the other day um, from somebody I installed their solar five years ago. And now they're moving and they want to ask some questions and they were so happy I was still around. Well, I was so happy, thank goodness, that I'm still around. But um, yeah, I plan on, <laughs> more too. than one way. Uh, yeah. yeah, I plan on doing this until I can't, until I don't work anymore. So I've worked for Vivint. I've worked for Solar City. I've worked for Sunrun. Um, now, like you said, I'm with Ultra. And just a little bit of background about them. They started out as Southwest Electric 20-something years ago. They're a big electric company. Um, and then they developed Southwest Roofing. And about seven years ago, they started doing solar. And so I've only been with them the last three, but I really love the company because everybody that works for the company is licensed, they're bonded. Um, we don't outsource anything and there's no middleman. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, Dana, so you've been in it for seven years. What mm -hmm. changes have you seen in the industry over that time period? Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. Um, first of all, the, the the panels themselves and how they're still the same size, they're three feet by five feet, but the power that they have in them, so we're using less. And that's really why um, when I say solar today costs about 70% less than it did 10 years ago, that's part of the reason. The other part of that reasoning is there wasn't a lot of solar lenders out there, you know, seven, eight, nine years ago. It was a lot of leases. I can tell you, I can do a lease today, but I haven't done one in three years because it's it's more advantageous when I meet with homeowners for them nine times out of 10 to own them than to lease them. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. No, so uh, again, it, it, we've talked offline several times 
um, not everyone can qualify, you know, to have solar on their house, you know, That's so correct. can you tell me, you know, like, basically, who can qualify? <laughs> How and why and the, the, the good, the bad, the yeah. ugly. Yeah. Um, I am probably one of the, the most honest solar people you have seen, because if you or your home is not a good fit, I'm going to tell you, I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste mine. And what might not be a qualification factor is, first of all, you have to own the home. You can't be a renter. Um, second of all, it's your roof and how much space you have up there, which way it faces. Um, south is ideal. And I that's those are the little things when I tell people it's so easy. You know, let me look at a few factors and I can pretty much in the first five, 10 minutes of talking to you or being looking at your bill, tell you if you may or may not be a good fit. Um, the other thing is, and it's not always credit. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, my credit's, you know, not that great. We're not that worried about that. Um, right now, I mean, oh my gosh, talking about that, we can get loans as low as 1.9%. I've got a new loan product out there from a company. We just talked about it this week where they have absolutely no payments for 12 months and no interest oh, wow. if they want to defer. Wow. So um, there's a lot of factors and it's hard to go into. And that's why I say, when I say it's easy, and I said that the other day at the meeting, yeah. it's easy as one, two, three, one, get my email and email me one of your bills. Doesn't matter if you're APS, SRP, ED3, Pinal, what, whatever it might be. Um, and then really, give me three to five minutes to talk to you and tell you if I think you may or may not be a good fit. It's that easy. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. You know what? Also, uh, what impact does it have on the value of their house? Wow, that's a really good question because years ago, realtors would tell you, oh, no, no, no. It doesn't add value to your home at all. That's not true um, because if you paid, let's say, $25,000 for a solar system, it's going to add that $25,000 plus to it. And I have all kinds of documentation, even from uh, the homeowners associations, different realtors association, where it tells you right away what that value, that added value would be. Oh, nice. Because not everybody has the same size. And, and Brian, I want to bring that up too, is a lot of people used to say to me, okay, if I buy this system and I move, can I take it off and take it with me? Oh, yeah. That, and that I was go, one well, of my questions. Yeah. You could, however what's the chances that the house you're going to move into is exactly the same square footage. You're using the same amount of energy and oh, it's sitting yeah. the right, the right way. So it's usually it's best to just start all over. And, and speaking of starting all over, I got another little story. I have a family I just installed last week in Williams. And uh -huh. actually this is his fourth home with me in the last seven years. Oh, wow. So he wow. believes in it so much that he, and I, I asked him at one point, what did you do? Laminate my business card? I mean, <laughs> so, um, but he says, no, I know I can count on you. You're going to be there. And so that was nice. But Williams is a little bit of a project too, because they're a little bit different than uh, APS yeah. and Phoenix. Oh, mm -hmm. I can imagine. I know that we were talking a little bit before, you know, about the paneling, you know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like how long does the paneling last? Um, is it the same type of panels in different cities and states and all that? or what? Now, then that, those are both good questions. Um, the panels really will last about 30 to 35 years, especially with the technology that we're seeing today. And speaking uh -huh. of that, I want everyone to know too, that one of the things that I love about Ultra is we, a, a few years back, could see changes coming on the horizon, and we had decided to cut ties with China. So we do not buy oh. Asian tiles, okay? We get our tiles made in the United States, Canada, or we have some that are made actually in Italy. Um, and yes, very much uh, for the companies that I've worked for. I've been everywhere from Hawaii to California to Connecticut um, to Illinois. And the panels are different depending on the weather in those areas. Or for instance, if you're when we were in Hawaii, you had a lot of the salt water. So you had to have oh. a different kind of panel. When you're working okay. in Connecticut, you're working with snow in the in the winter, so there is some difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. No, mm -hmm. so what? Uh, you know what? I was just curious. Also, um, can you just do part of your house in solar and and like you know, like keep it uh, where half and half? And if you decide to do the whole thing in solar, can you cut ties with APS? <laughs> okay, first off, yeah, no, those are great questions, though. I mean, you, you know, you don't know unless you ask, and that's yeah. what 
I yeah. find most people that do not have solar, let me regress just a little bit. Most people that don't have solar, they don't have it because they don't know what to ask or they're afraid that if they ask something, they might be stupid or whatever. It's really not. And that's why I like to take time with every one of my families and really explain because no, you cannot do part of your house in solar. Um, you could do, if you had two meters, let's say one for a great big working place in the back and one for your house, you could do each structure. Um, but if, it, if you have a plug in your house and you have solar on your roof, it's using that solar, okay? Mm -hmm. And no, once you are hooked up with the utility company, i.e. on their grid, especially with APS, um, you can't sever ties. Years from now, that might change, especially when you see more batteries out there. But mm -hmm. right now you have to have a source to keep that solar when you're not using it, when you're producing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah, no, so uh, we've also talked previously about electric cars. You know, there's a lot of people that are getting electric cars and, uh, you know, what impact on someone that has solar does your electric car have on, on the source? Oh, really good question. Um, I took a class about six months ago and it's a part of it was sponsored by APS all about EVs or electric vehicles actually. And um, first of all, there's a different rate. If you get an electric vehicle and you get the proper plug in your house to charge up your electric vehicle in the evening or whenever you're not driving, um, it's not a regular plug in the wall. Um, they give you a discount for that. And actually right now they're offering like a $7,500 rebate, but we can talk later. Um, the thing is, is if you have solar on your home and you know you're getting an electric vehicle, put on those extra panels to accommodate that in the near future. Because in that way, it's equivalent to instead of paying, what are we paying right now? $4 for a gallon of gas. It would be like paying less than a dollar for a gallon of gasoline, powering it off as your solar in your home. Oh, wow. And wow. it could be less than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, so uh, also, again, remind people, what's the best way for them to like get in touch with you, you know, to learn about it, and then to sign up? I, I, Absolutely. I, Thank you. Yeah, my phone yeah. number is the best way, 623-341-4152. And I can be reached at, and you can leave me a voicemail. If I can answer, I will. But it's Dana at ultraenergyaz.com because like I said, we are in five states, but I work primarily out of Arizona. Um, even message me or uh, hopefully you're in our Facebook group and uh, <laughs> you can get a hold of me that way too. Yeah, it, or at our 101 referral network meetings. Our 101 meeting. meetings. Yes, that's I know, right. I know, so. she's at like every meeting and I'm telling you, she's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to solar. You. you know, yeah, you've always like, explain things to the nth degree. No, I really appreciate it. So yeah, one final question that I had, you know, like who would be an ideal client of yours? An ideal client for me is a homeowner. First of all, they have to own their home. Um, they have to have, I look at their average bills and if their average bills are uh, right around 75 to a hundred dollars a month, all year long blended rate, they're, a they're generally a really good candidate. Um, most people, Brian, have no idea what they even pay for a kilowatt of energy, especially if they're on APS. Uh -huh. And I show them very easily. I, I go over the APS bill and how to read it because a lot of people don't know how to read the bill. And there is a reason now you don't get your bill in the mail anymore. APS has forced you into getting it in your email. It's because they're hoping you don't look at it. You just pay it. Oh, <laughs> you just wow. go, oh, wow. this dreaded bill. But I, yeah. I break it down to what you're paying a kilowatt hour and show you where you're saving money. Oh, and neat. if I can't save you money, I will tell you, because like I said, when this ringy dingies, I want happy calls. I don't want angry calls. I don't want people saying, well, you said, and I thought, and I'm it. you know, you know how it is. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, neat. No. So, uh, all right. Well, yeah, I just want to remind them the viewers again you can call her 623-341-4152 i guess this Correct. is a good number right here <laughs> yeah That's and then number. do you have a website that you want them to go to or would you rather them call you or i'd rather get the call because like i said sometimes you get so uh you get so wrapped up in something where he said she said or a neighbor said 
Oh, it's yeah. just really better for me to even even take you somewhere and buy you a cup of coffee, something cold to drink. You know, if you're not a good fit, like I said, I'm not that person that's going to keep on and keep on. I'm going to tell you why. You know, I, either, either I can't save you money or you just don't have the space we need or whatever the case may be. But I'll tell you what, 75% or more um, of the people that I talk to really can benefit and do benefit. And then what I love is new referral partners, because think about it, guys, I'm with homeowners all day long and I love referring business off to referral partners. Yeah, I know she knows a lot of people. So uh, yeah, she'd be a, a good referral partner. Dana, you know, also uh, the areas that you cover, I know you're in the Phoenix metro area. You know, how far do you go? I go, uh, I would like to say from sea to shining sea, but that's not true. Um, I go the whole state of Arizona. So it oh, doesn't wow. matter if it's Flagstaff, Parker, down to Yuma, uh, wherever it might be. I, uh, am, I'm licensed in California, but I don't really do California anymore, but the whole state. And that's why I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter if you're on SRP, APS, ED3, whatever it might be, the general municipality. Um, yeah, I can at least answer your questions and see if you're a good fit. Oh, perfect. All right. Well, Dana, again, thank you so much for being on here. It's great to see you again. And uh, yeah, always again, a pleasure, Brian. Oh, thank always. you. Thank you. No, I and appreciate I encourage, you. Yeah, I encourage our viewers, you know, reach out to her. You'll be glad you did. So thanks so much, Dana. Thanks again, Brian. Have a great rest of the weekend. Oh, thanks. You too. Bye.